So I like to focus on day trading stocks that gap and I've been getting a lot of questions about how I find these gapping stocks every day. So I'm going to show you exactly how I put together my gaps list in the pre-market and how I organize them to watch throughout the day. Now there's tons of gap scanners out there you can pay for, but I'm sure most of you that are watching this are beginners and don't want to be having a bunch of monthly expenses. So I'm going to show you the most simplest and cheapest way to do this. Let's get into it. So the first thing you need is a stock universe. This is a full list of stocks that you're willing to trade. And I make mine on finviz.com. I'll link it for you below. So here's finviz. And on the top menu, I'm going to go to screener. And now it's going to be showing all the stocks that are available to trade. But what I'm going to do is filter out some of it to tighten it down to my preferences. Now there's only two filters I care for. The first is the average volume, which is how much volume the stock is doing on average. And I like anything over 500K. And the second filter is price, which is the price of the stock. And I like anything over $1. I will say I have been trading a lot of penny stocks this year, but let's just keep it at a dollar. So now it'll automatically filter, and now I have my list. Of course, you can filter your list to your preferences. And all I need to do now is download it. So I'm gonna click export at the bottom here. Now you need to be an elite member to be able to download the list. And at the time of this recording, their price is sitting at $24.96 per month. But this is a list I only update four times a year in between earnings season. So you can only pay for those four months if you want to keep your cost down, which comes out to less than like 100 bucks a month. So if you can't afford that, I mean, you got bigger shit to worry about. So I downloaded it. Now let's open it on Excel. So here it is. Make sure you have Excel. And I do this so that I can tighten it even more by deleting the ETFs. This is obviously something you don't need to do, but I don't day trade ETFs and I don't want to see a pop up on my gaps list at all. Okay. But use this however you want to tweak your list. So under industry, I'm going to sort it alphabetically. Boom. And then I'm going to go down to exchange traded funds here it is and i'm just going to delete this all the way down to here all right then i'm going to clean it up by deleting the rest of these useless information which leaves me with just the symbols and now i have my stock universe and again i do this about four times a year in between earnings season to keep this list updated. Okay, now I'm gonna go into my platform. I use Thinkorswim, doesn't matter what platform you use, it should have the same functions. And I'm going to import this watch list, okay? So let me copy this entire list. So it's about 2,400 symbols. I'm gonna copy it. So this is my old list, I'm gonna edit it delete all this and then import the list. And on this watch list, I'm going to add a column called mark percent change, which shows the percent change in price for the pre and post market activities. If you're using a different platform, it may be called something else, but I'm 100% sure they should have something like this. All right. And then you sort it by mark percent change. There you go. And now that's your daily gap scanner. I just got done trading and the market is closed now, but you can see the top percent changes on this list. This is the gap downs. And if you sort it by the gap ups, there it is. So before the market opens, I look at this list and whatever is gapping, I make a separate list of these gaps for that morning. And I like to check on anything that's gapping over 2%. So if you look here, if I scroll down and look at this list and whatever is gapping over 2%, from here and up, I'll put together or I put it in the gap ups list. And then for the gap downs, same thing. So whatever's gapping down over 2%. So maybe from here and up, I'll put it on the gap downs list. Now there may be big movers that don't show up on this list that just pop out of nowhere. And for that, you can go to market chameleon, which I'll also link below. So here's what this looks like. Let me move this out of the way. And this is a free site that just shows some of the top movers in the pre-market. And you can check here to see if you're missing anything, okay? And now I have my gaps list. So 
let me bring this back. So once I put together the gaps list, I run through them one by one and sort them to my favorites, what to play for at the open, what to play for later. Now there's a whole system I use to do that, which I can't explain in this video, but I did make a video of me doing it live. If you want to check it out, I'll link it in the screen somewhere if you're interested, okay? And then I populate them on my thumbnail charts. Let me switch to my iPhone really quick. So my two side monitors are from my thumbnail charts. The right side, I put all the gap ups. The left side, I put all the gap downs. And I try to organize them in a way that's most effective. So I try to group them by sector. So as you can see, this is the China sector that's grouped together. And I've got gold here, the educational stocks that gapped today. We got the cruise lines grouped together. And then on the gap downs, here's like some of the cryptos that's been getting crushed all grouped together. I have the scalps down below and some of my favorite watches here on this side as well. And then I just watch them throughout the day, look for setups. If I see something interesting, I'll pull it up on my multiple time frame charts down here and go from there. But today was a pretty quiet day for me. We had FOMC today, so a lot of choppiness and not much of a gaps list to work with since we're in the off season. But still ending up the day, about 1500 or so, ATNF was the gap I went after this morning and just did a bunch of little scalps that added up. So I hope that was helpful. If it was, make sure to hit that like button. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below. I'm here to help. And as always, I appreciate you for being here and I hope to see you on the next one.